It was towards the end of my trip. I'd gone to all four corners of the United States and found myself now in Fort Lauderdale. And it was, it was incredible for me. Uh, didn't have any money. And uh, come around um, the evening, we were kind of looking for what we always had to figure out was where we were going to sleep. And the thing that was amazing about Lauderdale was how the people were driving their cars on the beach. And I thought, wow, this is heaven. And um, so I thought, well, I guess we could probably sleep here too, uh, which was wrong. And um, so I remember we were sleeping there and all of a sudden there was a banging on my little camper and it was a cop. He goes, what in the world are you doing here? And I go, well, well people drive on the beach. They can't sleep here. And he goes, no. So we think, ah, oh, we got to figure out a place to be. And we'd met, we'd met some people that were our age and they were all sleeping in this one apartment and there was probably 30 people sleeping there. So I thought, well, this will work because, you know, this will work. So uh, what we did, so it was working and we all fell asleep and about two in the morning, three, there was a knock on the door and, and it was the police going, someone had reported there was 30 people sleeping in this hotel room. And it was the same cop. And he happened to see me and my friend and kicked us out of that. And my friend and I, we just didn't really know where we were gonna go next. And I saw a laundromat and laundromats are always kind of warm. They're noisy, but like I say, we just wanted to sleep. And so we went there to sleep and somebody must have called the police and it was that same policeman. We had to like leave Lauderdale me and my friend. So uh, what was interesting about that road trip was trying to find some place to sleep and being run out of town. So I was 18 and I realized I, I have to be a better planner.